Hey, if you are into the David Lee Roth era, Van Halen, boy, do we have a surprise for you today. Yeah, Jump is a tribute band. They're going to showcase their talents at Ground Zero Blues Club tonight. Big show in downtown Biloxi. In the studio with us, uh, Jared Cunningham and Michael Newman. We'll see if I have this straight, Jared. You are Michael Anthony in this context. <laughs> I am, player. I am. And uh, we have uh, Michael as David Lee Roth. Yes, sir. Lead singer. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anthony. sir. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so. a tough role, and you, you're amazing. How did you, um, how did you come up with the chops for this? Uh, it was kind of by, by mistake almost. I've been a martial artist for years, so Dave was very big into martial arts. Um, I, I always tell people I did theater in high school. I was the average student. It was the only scholarship I was ever offered was to a real good theater program. So I kind of had the theatrics down there. And then uh, I was on tour with my last band, Hour 24. We had just played a show in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And on our way out, we were jamming the Van Halen One album. This is in 2014. And I let out a scream and my buddy goes, man, that sounds a lot like David like Lee Roth. Like Rock. <laughs> so that's nothing how against, we kinda... Nothing against Sammy Hager, the uh, Red Rock. Oh, oh we love Sam. Oh, we love Sam. Sammy at all. Cool. Sammy, that's when I saw, well, I saw Van Halen with both singers, actually. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you something, Jared. Mm -hmm. You have to love Van Halen to be a Van Halen tribute band. Um, I'll be honest with you. When I joined up with the group, I think I knew about four or five songs, yeah. half of it from Guitar Hero. <laughs> um, but I come from a jazz background, so the ability to just pick things up and just roll with it was just sort of in my blood. And I just went into it, and I realized the more I was listening to it, I'm like, man, this is some really fun music. This is just a lot of fun to be able to listen to and just to jam out with. Uh, a lot of feel-good hits that are inside of there, a huge back catalog within even just those six albums during the Dave era. Uh, so I That's just... a great story, actually, oh, yeah. from um, jazz to... ACDC, basically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I studied it throughout high school and college, and then I was able to apply my talents when Michael called me up back Fantastic. in April of 2022. Yeah, Michael, when you guys go out, I mean, are there 90% of the people are, are there because of Van Halen, or do you find like you're kind of reaching out to people who maybe didn't know much about Van Halen, right. but are now learning about them? That's actually a, a really good question because obviously like as a tribute, we always, I'm always careful how I present it like, uh, oh, our fans or whatever. Like I always refer to everyone that's in the jump, you know, at jump shows as Van Halen fans. We're not Van Halen, we don't proclaim to be. I always tell people there's no delusions, no confusions. <laughs> we know who we are, we know what we are, but, um, I will say our, t our like our social media um, has been on fire for the last about year and a half. We've grown over a hundred and pro probably about one hundred and forty thousand followers online in the last eighteen months, and we are seeing a lot of young kids that you know and people that don't you know never been to a concert before or whatever are not super familiar with Van Halen. Like we've turned on a lot of kids between the ages of fourteen and thirty who have never really listened to the catalog that came and was like, man, this is amazing. And they're maybe That's just great. now yeah. discovering yeah. Van Halen. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Like, Jared, I it must believe. be a great feeling to be on stage playing Van Halen music with all of the theatrics and everything else uh, with oh, the yeah. crowd into it. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. And especially when people are just up and on their feet and stuff like, you know, as a band, you really vibe off of the energy that the crowds get back. And some of these performances that we have have just been so explosive and it just radiates right back into us and it just gives us more energy to just start hopping well, around. Well, just, I hope you guys do my favorite song, Hot for Teacher. Do you oh, of course. Okay, oh, of course. All righty, well, it is going to be a rockin' place. Uh, that will be Ground Zero Blues Club tonight for Jump. Yeah, yes, it's going to be indeed. great. We're going to have thank a good time. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you for having us. We enjoyed us. having you on the show. Appreciate it.